Authorities say the 12 year old girl shot two teens in an elective class. Newswave's 32 reporter Logan Hall was at the school today and joins with what parents are saying could be a possible motive. Logan. Thanks, Emily. Tragedy struck downtown LA this morning as America endured its 12th school shooting in 2018. Officers responded to a shooting call here at Belmont High School. When they arrived, they located a few victims and they also uh, located the suspect who they took into custody without further incident. Just minutes before 9 a.m. this morning, a 12 year old female student opened fire on her class here at the South Castro Middle School in Los Angeles. Five total were injured, two students were shot. One of the students who was shot suffered a gunshot wound to the head and is in critical condition. While information continues to roll in, school officials are saying that while the school is still on lockdown, classes will continue as scheduled following the 12th school shooting in just the first month of 2018. The other student who was shot was hit in the wrist. The two victims injured, one student and one teacher, suffered shrapnel wounds. Firefighters and police officers arrived on scene in just under five minutes and apprehended the 12-year-old suspect and recovered the firearm. The shooting took place in an elective class consisting of both middle and high school students. Authorities are saying it is too early to be discussing the motive, but some parents were told that it was over a relationship dispute. Police are also investigating where the student got the gun. Parents were able to pick their children up beginning at 1.30 as they set up reunion stations outside the school and by the softball fields. But classes were not canceled and school will be open again tomorrow. Typically schools will close down following a shooting, but parents are telling Newswaves 32 that they aren't surprised classes are continuing and that school shootings are becoming all too normal. This is not new to me. This is normal to me. Thankfully, doctors are saying that all five of the victims are going to be just fine, and the status of the student that was in critical condition has been changed to critical stable. So some good news coming out of a very scary and tragic situation with everyone injured on the up and up. Now, Logan, it seems very unusual that after a shooting, they're not going to cancel school. Is there a reason why they didn't do that? Absolutely. That's a great question. Typically, after a school shooting, they will shut down the school for the remainder of the day, sometimes even the week. Uh, but what we're seeing here is a majority of the students coming from low-income families. So if they did close the school down, a lot of those students wouldn't have anywhere to go. Uh, so in keeping the school open, they actually were uh, letting the parents know that their students were going to be safe, uh, that they were going to have somewhere safe to be. Right, you know, seeing what that individual said about the whole situation, and I know it's a shooting, so... I mean, what was the overall like feel of the whole situation when you were down there? You know, surprisingly, uh, it was very calm and it was very really? organized. Um, so I was talking to a group of parents and they told me that this community is all too familiar with shootings. Uh, mm -hmm. They happen regularly within that community. Um, unfortunately, school shootings are becoming all too normal as well. Uh, and so, you know, they said hats off to the LAPD and to the school officials. They were able to uh, keep everybody calm and organized. They were able to get lines. Um, based on grade to get the students out of the classrooms as quickly as possible. 